Right, well this is the IBC system as it stands today. I've just got these grow beds, they're not hooked up, and neither is the fish tank as of yet. Um, just try and do this quickly before it starts making a lot of noise. Uh, I moved some broccoli in from the um, other bed, the barrel ponic system. I did that this morning. Uh, it was just too crowded up there. I actually took out the um, two large broccoli that were in there as well. There's a lonely little um, flat leaf parsley over the back there. That's just the duckweed in the tray. So I have got some plants in here now. And there's also worms. I've planted worms in there. And there's some shallot seeds up in the back corner. They went in the other day. Um, in here, we had a problem with mozzies. So what we've done is we have went out. It is a bit grubby in there, I know. But it's actually getting cleaner. So happy about that. Just had to silence off the uh, pump there. I got a whole heap of um, fire-tail gudgeons. They're a native to um, New South Wales river systems. They're, I bought, they were sold as a feeder fish. I bought, um, I think it was about 30, 20 to 30 or so for $5. It is very grotty in there on the bottom. I am looking into how to get rid of the algae. Oh, here we go. And there's one of the abbeys out there for a bit of a hunt around. Um, I'd say some of the guppy uh, gudgeon are going to end up um, food. I'd say he's, way off he goes, up the back there, very quick. So he's just off for a daily wander. There's another one there with his claws and his antennae out. And I did spy a small one moving around just before. There's another one down in there. So that's the Yabbies anyway. They're quite happy in there. There's a small one coming out of the end of that pipe. I haven't had any Yabby, yabby deaths as I know of, that I know of yet. Um, there's a whole heap of gudgeon hanging around there. Um, yeah, so the fish and the abbey seem to be cohabitating all right. Uh, no problems as of yet, but then again, there's so many of the little fish, I wouldn't even know if one went missing, to tell you the truth. Um, I'll just fix this up. I'll go and show you the barrel system. The barrel system had the two large uh, broccoli in it, which were pulled out today, and all those smaller broccoli. They were thinned out and put in the other bed. Um, I have a couple of poor, pitiful lettuce here going to seed and some others that just aren't doing anything. This guy is my little um, canary in the coal mine, so to speak. He's actually starting to darken up the leaves. And also too, the leaves on these broccoli, as you can see there, looks like a bit of nitrogen deficiency or iron lockout with the yellowing. Um, the newer leaves are coming up nice and dark. So I actually think what we've got in here is starting to kick up the ammonia levels. Although every time I do a test, I'm not getting, I'm getting trace ammonia, no nitrites and no nitrates. I'll show you what we've got in here, if they want to cooperate today. We have four little comets and we have our three larger, or two larger comets that were upstairs. Every now and then you'll see a large black flash. Here's a black feeder fish that we had. There he goes up the back there. And we also have eight um, blue eyes, Pacific blue eyes went in. That's those little ones darting around up the back. I'll just throw that little grub in and see what happens to him. So the blue eyes are actually, hey, there he goes. Um, yeah, so they're being fed regularly and I think they're actually starting to um, kick off the, um, the cycling process, but I'm just not, I'm just not getting any, anything registering in the test, so. Uh, I suppose the proof is in the um, plants. So they're starting, like I said, they're starting to darken up, so something's going to be happening. I put probably about um, a dozen or so worms in both beds. I uh, just grabbed a handful out down the back. I didn't count them, but there was a fair handful in each. I washed, gave them a bit of a rinse off. Um, with the broccoli, all I did was um, the roots, if I can find it. I actually um, ripped the roots off, the fibrous roots and those leaves off. I'm just going to leave them in there for the worms to eat. Um, here we go. Uh, one of the broccoli roots here, I just ripped off the um, fine hairs down the bottom and just left it in there for the worms to feed on. Um, leave some nutrient in there. Let me know if that's the wrong thing to do. Um, these siphons have been working fantastic. So I got that sorted. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll start to see some more growth in these guys. I'm actually going to put another four little comets in there in a week or so's time. That's pretty much all it for the aquaponics, so I'll leave it at that and have a good one.